Well, welcome back. Are you worried about saving enough money for retirement? Now there is a possibility that your employer could be doing more to help bankroll life after work. A new Vanguard Group survey finds average company contributions to 401ks have risen to 4.7% of employee salaries last year. That's up from 3.9% in 2015. We want to bring in Ramsey Solutions financial expert and author of Retire Inspired, Chris Hogan. Chris, good to see you. Well, good to see you, too. I like this story a lot because the 401K is so important for retirement and getting your money in order. Companies like Microsoft, host hotels and resorts say that they're increasing 401K contributions because they want to spend more to retain and motivate their best employees. Your thoughts? Well, I think it's a fantastic move because as we start to look at this and truly understand the employer's role, their job is to try to educate people to understand how money works, but also empower them to take steps to use their 401ks or 403bs. And so I applaud these companies that are taking these steps to encourage their people to really use these tools. Yeah, but what should the employee do? I mean, let's face it, a lot of employees, they have their 401k, they know that their company is matching it. They don't know what's in that 401k. Should, should, do, do, do employees have to get more active in terms of understanding how to drive that fund? Maria, I couldn't agree more. I think it's really, realistically, each individual has to take on the onus themselves to truly take the steps to help themselves. Yeah. So understanding what benefits are available at the company, but also plugging in and utilizing those things. I mean, we can't pass the buck all the way to the employer, but I think each side shares a role in this. The employer needs to offer these benefits, but the employee has to take advantage of it. And, yeah. and Chris, it's David McDowell. It's also one of the most critical things is Figuring out if you get a match in your 401k plan, how to maximize that match. Because it's actually kind of tricky. It is, and when you start to talk about the match in the 401k, you're essentially, Dagan, talking about free money. It's I mean, free the employer, money. It's, it it it's literally compensation. And by the way, if you want to get a down payment on your first house, you can borrow from your 401k plan. You're just borrowing money from yourself. It's one of the best resources to tap for young people. Yeah. Chris, Chris, I have All right, a question. Now hold on, Dagan. You're talking about stealing money from <laughs> your future. I don't like that. Don't that's, you do I, it. That's the first time I'm to, disagreeing with my pal here, Dagan. You have to pay Dagan. it back. You have to pay it back. By yeah. law, you have to pay it back or it's a penalty and you have to pay taxes on it. So why not use your own money? Well, I would tell this. I would say, as you put money aside, the thing that's going to grow that money, Dagan, is time and compound interest. So if you put money in the 401k, leave it alone. Yes. But I would tell people, save up for that down payment on a home by taking a second job or a third job or even selling some stuff. But don't pull money out of the 401k. You'll cause yourself some issues. Yeah, well, I agree with that. But a second and third job, I mean, third come job. on, Chris. You're <laughs> killing us over here. It's 7.54 in the yeah. morning. If I've got Go ten grand in my 401k, that I can borrow and pay back and pay myself interest, I'm borrowing it and not working a second job. Okay? Well, I would tell you this, too. <laughs> One of the things people don't understand, Dagan, is if you do pull money out of a 401k and you lose or leave that right. job, it's due and payable within three to six months. Right. So it could actually end up putting more stress on an individual than helping them out. Yeah, that's a good yeah. point. Chris, so, so I have a question. Um, in Whether or not this is actually going to work to retain employees especially young people. Um, some of the recent, most recent statistics show that about 60% of millennials are open to new jobs, to new work if it comes along, and that millennial turnover costs the U.S. economy about $30.5 billion annually. So obviously, employee retention is a big part of this. At the same time, millennials have historic distrust of regular institutions like these large corporations, Microsoft um, being one of those examples. So is this retention strategy actually going to work for young people, or have they already kind of lost this generation to being one that is not necessarily going to trust these large corporations and the benefits they might offer? Well, Kirsten, I would say this. I think it's a part of the process of retaining. You know, when you look at it, people ultimately want to feel like they're appreciated and they're valued. And is there a path for me to grow in my career? And so I think detailing benefits, but also engaging teammates, uh, proving to them that you care. I'd say that leaders have to do with three C's. I say they have to care, they have to connect, and they need to communicate. Mm -hmm. Hey, Chris, Bob Nardelli here. Maybe we can clear up one point that, that's kind of bantered around here. Several years ago, corporations moved away from deciding where that 401k money will go and have uh, very consciously moved that to the employee, to your point. So isn't that correct? So corporations, you know, this mistrust and so forth, that's kind of an old, uh, an old era because today 
corporations, at least my experience, is we have consciously moved it to the employee. They make the decision out of a, out of a uh, cafeteria menu of where to select. Is, isn't that correct? Yes, sir, you're absolutely right. It's on the employee to make the selection of what they're going to invest in. What I was mentioning, though, is that an employer has an incredible opportunity to make this information available by doing financial education, yes. uh, providing programs and seminars uh, to help people truly understand how it works. The issue is, is that most Americans don't know how money works. They don't know how to grow it, so if you don't ever understand it, it's impossible to manage it. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, so the employee should actually call the fidelities of the world or whoever is managing their company's 401k plan and make sure they fully understand what is in that 401k, you know, how much are they allocating. It's, it's not brain surgery. They need to get, get a little more involved. They really do, and if the companies will provide financial education right. or financial wellness programs, uh, mm -hmm. we do one called Smart Dollar that just walks people through. Listen, it's yeah. just not a matter of 401ks, it's a matter of savings. Yeah, all right, Chris, we'll leave it there. Great to see you, sir. Thanks so much. Thank you.